Welcome to a lesson on prime factorization. The goals of this video are to review prime and composite numbers and then also to determine the prime factorization of a natural number. A prime number is a natural number greater than one that has only two factors, one and itself. So here's a list of the first several prime numbers. And again, these are prime because the only factors they have are one and itself. A composite number is a natural number that has more than two factors. So for example, the number 15 has four factors. Since one times 15 is equal to 15, and so is three times five. So the factors of 15 are one, three, five, and 15. There's four factors, which is obviously more than two. Therefore, 15 is a composite number. And one special note, the number one is neither prime or composite by definition. To determine the prime factorization of a natural number, we need to find the prime numbers that when multiplied together, give us the original number. Now we need to be careful not to confuse prime factorization with the factors of a number. Remember the factors of a number are any two numbers whose product give the original number. So factors do not need to be prime. So for example, the factors of 12 would be 1 and 12, 2 and 6, and 3 and 4. But to determine the prime factorization of 12, we need to figure out what prime numbers give us a product of 12. And the most common way to do this is to make a factor tree. We start by breaking down 12 into any of its two factors, let's say 3 times 4. 3 is prime, so we'll go ahead and circle that. 4 is not prime, so we'll continue to break down 4 into additional factors until all factors are prime. We can write four as two times two. Two is prime, so now we have found the prime factorization of 12. It would be two times two times three. Or we could write this as two squared times three. So in this video, we're gonna find the prime factorization of a number using a factor tree as we see here. Let's go ahead and try some additional examples. So number one, we're gonna start with 24 and break it down into any of its two factors. So we can obtain 24 by multiplying two and 12. Two is prime, so I'll circle that. We'll break down 12 into two times six. Again, we'll circle two since it's prime. And then lastly, we can break down six into two times three, which are both prime. So the prime factorization of 24 would be two times two times two times three. Or if we wanna use exponents, it would be two to the third times three. Let's go ahead and find the prime factorization of 54. Two factors of 54 would be six times nine. Neither of those are prime, so we'll keep breaking these down into additional factors. Six would be two times three. Both of those are prime. And then nine would be three times three. Again, these are also prime. So the prime factorization of 54 would be two times three times three times three, which is the same as two times three to the third power. Now the reason I like to circle each of these prime numbers is if you get in a hurry, it can be easy to forget about one of the prime factors and therefore lead to the wrong answer. Looking back at number 24, notice if we didn't circle this two up here, or this two here, it might be easy to forget about it. Remember, the product of these primes has to give us the original number. Let's go ahead and try two more. Here we have 120. Since it ends in a zero, we know it's divisible by 10. This would be 10 times 12. Neither of those are prime. 10 would be two times five, which are both prime, so we'll circle those. 12 can be written as four times three, where three is prime, and then four can be written as two times two. So 
So the prime factorization of 120 would be one, two, three factors of two, one factor of three, and one factor of five. Or using exponents, we'd have two to the third times three times five. Let's go and try one more. 625 ends in a five and therefore is divisible by five. So we'll start by breaking this down into five times 125. Five is prime. Now this also ends in a five, so it's divisible by five. This would be five times 25. This is prime. And then 25 is five times five. So the prime factorization of 625 consists of four factors of five, which would be five to the power of four. Okay, that's gonna do it for prime factorization. I hope you found this video helpful.